Welcome to the Washington and Lee video tutorial, Introduction to Self-Service for New Students. This tutorial will cover the basic features of self-service and demonstrate how you will use it to view your academic record, including any credit you may have received for external work. Go to the self-service website by entering go.wlu.edu forward slash self-service, but you can also find these links on the Registrar's webpage and the WNL webpage here under Quick Links, and we'll click on self-service to take us there. Sign in using your WNL network username and password. The self-service homepage gives you options for student planning and grades. In the grades screen, you'll be able to view your course grades by term. The University Registrar's Office sends a broadcast email to your WNL address when midterm and final grades are posted each term. The student planning screen opens with your current term schedule, although you don't have one yet, and links for getting started when planning courses for future terms. Hover over the menu drop-down box to see additional functions within student planning. The test summary link takes you to any external test scores already processed on your record. If your College Board AP scores or International Baccalaureate results were high enough, you will see either WNL course credit or a prerequisite course listed. During orientation, WNL placement test results will be posted up here. Faculty policies for AP and IB credit are listed on the University Registrar's website at go.wlu.edu forward slash registrar. And this website here, the APIB placement results and recommendations link. If you have advanced placement, GCE, A-levels, the AICE or ECTS credits or International Baccalaureate Diploma results that should earn WNL credit and you don't see them posted in your student planning, then we have not received them. You should immediately contact the relevant authority to have those official results sent to the University Registrar's Office so we can add them to your record in time for fall course registration during orientation. Students who have earned other college level credit while in high school or during the summer preceding matriculation at WNL must submit to the University Registrar's Office a credit transfer request form and supporting documentation by August 15th in preparation for fall registration. The credit transfer request form can be found in the GHQ, which you have probably already enrolled into. Returning to self-service, there are a couple locations where you can see any external credit that has been processed on your new WNL record. Under Plan and Schedule and the Timeline view, you can see any summer term dual enrollment credit. And if we scroll back to the left here, non-term courses are the APIB credit that has been posted. How many credits have been posted to your WNL record? The Academic Course History link is a PDF list of all WNL credit earned to date. Other links and tabs found in the Academics drop down box or here at the Mortar Board. I'll close that. These will be resources for you during your WNL academic career. We have online forms for a variety of processes permission to overload, permission to take an optional course for a pass-fail grade, the personal information matriculation site that's used to check in officially after August 1st each year, the student information releases site to give permission for others on campus to discuss your academic record, another student schedule view, study abroad course transfer request and approval, an online process for requesting a summer internship transcript notation, and a link to the WNL course offering list. Additional student planning tabs and links include My Progress, Course Catalog, the Plan and Schedule view, and advising and petitions and waivers tabs and all of this will be explained in a separate video and email 
You don't register for fall courses until orientation, so we will explain how to prepare for that in a mid-August email. This concludes the Introduction to Self-Service tutorial. For additional information, see the Student Planning Training website at go.wlu.edu slash studentplanninginfo. Thank you.